Over these past few weeks, we have been praying for Scott Hauser and for his family. It was a great sadness, I come to tell you today, that, that our former Lake Fellow, the Reverend Scott Hauser, died this week. It was a very difficult struggle with this incredibly hard form of cancer. He leaves his wife, Laura, his four children, who are 11 and under. But before Scott was put finally on the ventilator again, he was able to embrace and say goodbye to his children. And then he was able to have a few moments with his wife, Laura. And then she asked him, to whom do you belong? And he said, I belong to God. There will be a calling at his church in Wisconsin on this Wednesday evening. There will be a service of witness to the resurrection on Thursday morning. And a number of us are going to go and share your love and prayers with all of Scott's family. Thank you. Indeed, friends, we do belong to God. If you've been worshiping with us for some time and would like to talk about membership or if you would just like to talk more about your life in faith here at Second Presbyterian, I will be available uh, down, down at the bottom of the stairs after the service and we'll be glad to talk with you. And now let us stand and affirm what it is we believe using the words of the Apostles' Creed. Christian, what do you believe? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. Let us go to God in prayer. Holy God, your cross stands before us as a light that shows us our failures and our salvation through your Son. We thank you for forgiving us and for coming among us to heal our pain and resentments. We yearn for your word and praise you for your love. You who preserve life, who send among your people caretakers and peacemakers, who give us scientists and inventors, give your people new eyes to behold the needs of your creation. Lead us into fields of wheat and pools of clean water. Shelter the earth with clouds, nurture the soil with sun. Make our gratitude so profound that with joy we will love and guard what you have created for our very lives. O giver of prayer that groans within us, teach us to pray for our enemies. Be with them, guard them from harm, and guide them in the way of your light. Save us from self-righteousness and help us to begin our lives anew. Heal the nations, mighty Lord, reign peace on all people. Give hope to the hopeless and love to the lonely. Surprise the leaders of all nations with joy. For the people of Syria, for all who seek refuge from warfare and violence only to be turned away, for mothers and fathers seeking a better life for their children in foreign lands, we cry out for reconciliation and plenty. We beg comfort for the sick, O God. Make whole the broken, make wise the foolish, humble the powerful, make glad the hearts of those who tend our loved ones, and for any who are in pain, give them release and rest. 
Speak love especially to the family of our brother Scott. May Laura and their children know the surpassing peace of your abiding presence. Give comfort to all who mourn this loss and any loss. May we be a comfort to one another, sharing in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, who knows no bounds. Savior of the world, we give you thanks for the church, for the meek, for the courageous, for those who teach us how to wait. We praise you for the life-giving spirit that inhabits the saints whose visions have shown us the path. Make us truly grateful for prophets and dreamers. Trusting in the mercy of your never-failing wisdom, we commend into your hands all for whom we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son, who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Let us now continue our worship in the giving of our tithes and offerings. <laughs> 